Hey folks, Father Sun Pothik from CG Virus. Today we are going to show you our new add-on for Blender that is called Command Line Blender Script Generator. So what does it do is basically, you know, create a shell file for Linux or Mac and a bat file for Windows. So basically, uh, what does it do? Um, what does it mean by Command Line Render? Um, if you know about that, uh, that is awesome. If you don't know about that, I will give it in a description. Uh, such for it and um, um, basically in command line render there will be some syntax and things like that you have to know about those things so uh, in this add-on uh, I have tried to make that uh, you know minimized so you don't have to write all of these codes so it will be pretty easy for artists and uh, you know geeks also so yeah um, uh, basically command line render can do lots of stuff really cool stuff because uh, it doesn't need any GUI you can quit your blender and uh, mm, you can do it every you can do the render things you know in terminal or common prompt so uh, it's a non GUI thing so it's pretty amazing and also if you um, if you don't want any GUI at all you can do it in your shell so it's a pretty amazing uh, thing to do and uh, most effective one so anyway so let's get started and let's see how can we do that so after downloading this GIF file just extract it here and there will be your command line render script py I have already uh, installed that in my machine so it should be in oh I didn't okay that's weird okay let's install it uh, from here, control C. There we go. This is our command line. Yeah, it is there. Okay, so command line render script generator. So let's save user settings. What you will get here is actually a button, a simple innocent button. This one. So let's top it up here. Yeah, so this guy. So what you need to do basically is first of all suppose this is your project and you need to save it so let's uh, go to cycle render uh, suppose we are using cycle render here and uh, we are using GPU uh, suppose we have frame 1 to 20 and yeah suppose it is 100 percent and uh, you have to save everything here so suppose you are using EXR let's use that and yeah uh, now you need to save your render files so first of all I need to make a project here so let's go to desktop and let's create a project uh, suppose name it test and oops sorry what I'm doing okay test and I'm going to name it test or whatever yeah and uh, you need to output your files here so let's go to desktop test I'm just going to make a new folder let's name it render or something there we go and let's name it render test so on the usual stuff you have to do before you render before pressing this animation button right so that's it so now uh, yeah so for now we are not going to use animation button we are going to use this uh, generate command line script so press enter and you will see a uh, uh, error that is called uh, please specify the output directory so we have already done it so if done save the project first so we have to save the project first because I have to assure that you are sure that you are going to render it okay so I'm just pressing control s and save that's it so now let's generate a command line script mm, let's see what is happening out there so there uh, should be your images right so if I generate this okay I'm in Linux so it will give you a sh file okay so now what we can do is basically we can close it and now let's go to terminal control T or uh, you know uh, whatever it is terminal yeah terminal yeah and yeah so in here what we're going to do um, we're going to 
do some stuffs first so first of all let's see the GUI way so in uh, Linux it has to be uh, in Linux and Mac it has to be uh, permissible first so what you need to do is basically right click properties permission and allow executing file as program but uh, you know I'm a Linux guy so I always use terminal that is much more flexible so what you can do here is basically type ch mod plus x that means ch mod plus x x means executable so it will make it permissible and then you can just for simplicity sake just drag it here here we go and then press enter and you will see that the properties in permission it has already been uh, allowed for executing file as programs so this is one way uh, let's see the another way <coughs> let's uh, copy this guy and let's paste this guy in desktop for simplicity sake you can uh, do uh, you can you know uh, that is the most uh, 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 flexible thing that you can uh, paste it anywhere so I'm just using desktop here so let's use control alt T again and I'm going to CD desktop here we go so if I'm going to ls you will see that the render street and render test dot sh it's already been uh, uh, you know permissible so it is setting in green so let's do it again and let's turn it off here there we go now if I'm going to ls you can see it is not executable so I'm in desktop right so what I can do is search mod plus x okay uh, people can confuse can be confused so there we go again uh, what you need to do is basically search mod uh, sorry let's go to desktop CD desktop press LS okay so we have this file here so what I need to do is basically ch mod plus X and render blah 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 and now it has been permissible right there we go so now what I need to do is basically nothing uh, we can just type this guy and then we can go to render sh and it will start render and you will see that here in a moment there we go so this is our exl file okay so it will go through uh, the whole thing okay so close it let's close it I'm going to see you <coughs> show you uh, another thing control alt T so what you can do if you are not very much technical don't worry just go ch mod plus X and then just drag it here press enter now what you can do just drag it here press enter you don't have to do anything else just go here and it will do the render again so I'm just uh, uh, you know giving you all the sites here so yeah as you say EXR file it has to be packed and voila okay so uh, this is same for Mac but I'm not sure about Mac uh, mm, uh, actually I don't have any Mac so I couldn't test it but I think uh, it will work uh, same so let me know uh, uh, in the comment section is it working in your Mac or not if it's not please comment it in uh, in YouTube or in github so I can fix it all right so yeah also there is one thing that suppose your uh, render is interrupted so um, what can we do interrupted in means you know like uh, electricity has been gone or something has happened or something so sometimes uh, that things happens so what you can do here is basically right click uh, open it with any kind of text editor I'm using Kright and you can see here is our comments so suppose uh, in number four it has been interrupted so what you can do is basically go to the s and make it four and uh, else and anything so s means start frame n means end frame okay and uh, if you are using some distributed render system like me then uh, you can distribute your renders so something like in this machine suppose it is 1 to 20 uh, 1 to 20 
in another machine it could be you know 21 to 50 something like that so you can do it like that here too so very flexible yeah so now um, we're going for Windows and uh, it will be um, same it is actually same uh, in Windows you don't need to uh, create this permission thing the chmod plus X um, it will be a bat file you can just double click on it and it will start the render so I'm going to attach it uh, with uh, this tutorial so it will be speechless I mean you know there will be no sound so just enjoy and just see it So that's it. Uh, hopefully it will help you to make your render awesome. And thank you. And uh, I'm Father Sanpatik from CG Virus and we will see you next time. Bye bye.